zero order and first order kinetics. Hello DCT family. Hope you are doing great. Today, we're going to explore the exciting world of pharmacokinetics and learn about first order and zero order kinetics. We have illustrated earlier that pharmacokinetics studies how drugs are absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and excreted by the body or the ADME profile. These processes can happen in a first or zero order fashion. To make things easier we will consider examples of drug elimination to illustrate these two terms. Let's start with first order kinetics. This means that a drug is eliminated from the body at a rate that's proportional to its concentration. As the drug concentration goes down, the elimination rate slows down too. The graph of drug concentration over time in first order kinetics typically shows an exponential decay pattern, with a half life that stays constant. That means after each half life, the drug concentration is halved. On the other hand, in zero order kinetics, the drug is eliminated at a constant rate, no matter what its concentration is. It's like a fixed amount of the drug being cleared from the body per unit of time, no matter how much is left. The graph of drug concentration over time in zero order kinetics is a simple linear decrease, showing a constant drop in drug concentration. Unlike first order kinetics, the half life is not constant in zero order kinetics, and the elimination rate remains the same regardless of the drug concentration. Understanding first order and zero order kinetics is crucial for comprehending the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination of drugs within the body. It helps determine dosing regimens to maintain therapeutic drug levels and avoid toxicity. It also assists in estimating drug half-life, determining appropriate dosing intervals, and predicting drug accumulation or washout. Generally by comprehending both first-order and zero-order kinetics, pharmacists can optimize drug dosing strategies, tailor treatment plans, minimize adverse effects, and enhance therapeutic outcomes for patients. That's it for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Like and share the video so it can reach more of those who would benefit from it. Thanks for tuning in and as always stay fabulous wherever you are.